Wait, did you see that? Did I glitch? Hello and welcome back to my face. Today we are watching, uh... Boy, starting off strong this time. Today we're watching some more One Punch Man. This episode is called The Class S Heroes. Last episode, there were a lot of 1v1 fights going on. First one being Genos versus the Cockroach, where he, uh, like, in the end, won against the Cockroach with his goo coming out of his shoes. Very, very, um, uh, go-go gadgety of him. Genos did ultimately actually get, in a way, defeated by this unknown monster that we haven't really met yet. Then there was also, what was his name? I had to write it down. Bakuzan versus Saito. Saitama. This was at the tournament and he was threatening Saitama up and down saying he was gonna do the craziest shit to him and demonstrating what he was gonna do but then he like touched Saitama's wig and Saitama backhanded him because he do not like that so he ended up losing. Then there was Mistress Super S. Very sexy, blonde, kind of quirky, little bit sadistic um a lot of it versus lady blizzard super s was like whipping lady blizzard's boys and when she does that she could kind of like control them kind of like zombies and she actually ends up whipping lady blizzard which i thought was kind of messed up but she's she's kinky man super s is very kinky but when she does that tornado can sense that her sister is in pain and she comes in and just everything up like fucks everyone up pretty easily super s actually manages to escape though she like takes down basically lady blizzard's zombie team and then she tells her little sister lady blizzard that she should stop working like with teams and just start working by herself and to stop being in class b like a b class it was like stop hanging out with them then there was handsome man Su suryu suryu versus the sniper snake dude who's actually pretty annoying yeah he just kicked him with one kick oh and then we saw like a quick clip uh not clip uh just like a stance i guess of uh garo and the the superhero dog like he was just like garo's just staring at him he better not touch that dog i swear but then at the very very end like past the credits in the nin nin we meet this character called orochi and he's i believe is like the master of the monsters it seems like he's the one that's sending out the monsters and one of those monsters he sent out was the one that beat genos that i was talking about earlier and now this massive monster is being sent to the tournament by orochi and that's where we're at. If you want to see the whole uncut episode of what you're about to see today or any of the other episodes on my YouTube channel, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. But let's get started. How are they talking without mouths? Huh? Derp. Uh, Ooh, the guy with the eyeliner looks funny, but not as good as not as good as Saitama. <laughs> Don't you dare! No. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, man. Huh? These are all the S ranks? Ooh, yes. Why does that robot have to have such nice hair? You interrupted my concert. Still holding the microphone. Nice commitment. <gasps> Just a baby! Oh, wait. God, is his name Dev? <laughs> uh, he just ate the whole Medusa. <laughs> oh. A little cocky. 
Yeah, you got a lot to say. GMO corn. <laughs> Amazing. Flashy flash. Oh, it's sparkly. Ew. It's like raining goo. Did that make it worse? Oh, he's closing his eyes, yo. Oh, there we go. Hey, girly pop. Flashy flash. Oh, you could just make monsters? How convenient. Ew. Nice. No match. Just no match. Stomach <laughs> wind is kind of <laughs> He's just holding on to his wig. <laughs> Why don't you just glue the damn thing on? <laughs> Jeez. Um, a hidden tragedy? Oh shit, these. Boing. What the f? <laughs> Looks like a bug. How is he not saying that what he's doing isn't doing anything? Oh shit. He broke his bicep ring. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he booty bumped him. With a booty bump. You lost with a booty bump. Ooh. Oh, oh no, what is that? Puppy. Okay, damn. That monster, I was like, man, he looks so strong. He looks like a werewolf, like Team Jacob. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he has four eyes. I hate multiple eyes. That took the sexy out of it so quick. Wow, okay. I liked Saitama's and, and Suryu's fight scene. I'm a big fan of it, actually. It was actually really fun to watch, especially since people were translating Saitama holding his wig on as him protecting his head. Nice little twist. It wasn't until he got, like, personally insulted by being a hero or whatever that he actually cared, and he was like, all right, fine. I'll, I'll actually fight you and whatever, and he apparently stripped Suryu down. So that was pretty cool. I wish I could I could do that trick. <laughs> yeah, and then Saitama booty bumped Suryu into the abyss, which 
I wasn't expecting that. But I also am not surprised. Like, unexpected, but pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I mean, it has to be ridiculous. It's Saitama, right? I, I do think probably one of my favorite parts, though, during this whole episode was Tornado basically creating a ball of sashimi. <laughs> um, it, it was just, she makes everything look so easy. Piques my curiosity of, like, when things are going to get hard for her. Because even last season, when we're the they were fighting this big spaceship thing or whatever she seemed to be having like a pretty a pretty easy time with it like wasn't really breaking a sweat she just kind of gets mad at everyone else around her for not basically being as good as her it almost like pisses her off she sees it as laziness like oh my god i'm like so far ahead of you you guys suck you guys are lazy like work harder her squishing that squid into a little ball though that was amazing gross gross when it exploded but pretty cool next episode i feel like it's going to um circle more around the doge and garo and whatever else appeared there in that square it seemed like there was like a third party involved in that because we didn't get to see any of it like they're holding out on us but i mean they had to show us a saitama and so do you fight and it was a great fight scene i'm very happy with this episode uh if you guys want to see this episode or any other episode on my youtube channel in its raw format you can go to my patreon and subscribe there i also post on there before i post on youtube so if you're an eager beaver like me and want to see this stuff as soon as possible you can uh head over to patreon and see everything on there in its raw exposed cut self if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the noti bell so i can annoy you um but i'm gonna head out i hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day night or whatever it is and i will see you in the next video don't be a glitch go cause some goonery elsewhere and i'll see you then bye Freezer fly was popping.